Hello, I'm Lelda Smits for the Capital Network and joining me here at KPMG in Sydney in its innovation lab at Varangaroo is its National Internet of Things practice leader, Piers Hogarth-Scott. Piers, welcome. Hello. Now, Piers, the Internet of Things is a booming industry. Even in Australia, it's expected that an annual economic uplift of $120 billion will be contributing to the economy by 2025. Which industries do you believe will be benefiting the most? Um, where we see um, the greatest activity um, today in the Australian marketplace, and it will, it will differ from region to region, um, is particularly around smart cities. Uh, and uh, connected infrastructure and transport. Okay, and Piers, can you give us an example how IoT is transforming uh, the parking and, and the driving industries uh, in Australia? Sure, so um, already at a most basic level, uh, what we're seeing from a parking point of view or smart parking is the ability for you and I as citizens to know when a uh, when a, a, a parking area is already full. So we won't waste our time um, trying to locate a parking spot because there are sensors underneath all of the cars um, that provide that data to a dashboard that we can access. So in doing so, that's, um, uh, I guess, making us more efficient and more productive. It means we're not driving around and around town um, uh, uh, polluting fumes and, and wasting our time in the process. So at a sort of most basic level, that's an example of smart parking. So Piers, which Australian cities are leading in implementing the Internet of Things? Um, City of Melbourne was globally recognised last year as one of the smartest cities um, in the world um, and they have um, a very sizeable team that is in the process of deploying um, broad smart city um, strategies uh, which are really designed to um, I guess, uh, make the city more operationally effective. Um, most importantly, enhance the citizen experience of engaging with that city. So how may citizens realise that as they're just uh, going about their daily business, going up and down trams on Collins Street? What, how may they notice the internet of things coming into their everyday life? Right, so, so jumping on a tram in Collins Street, you already notice it. Because what happens, of course, is when you're standing at that tram stop, it tells you how many minutes away the next tram is. In fact, if you also bring out the, uh, the transport app, it also shows you how many people are on that tram. Those are two very real um, examples of how IoT is transforming the citizen or the customer experience in the city um, right now today. And here in Sydney, could you maybe give me an example where you recently noted that IoT was coming into your life that you hadn't noted before? So one of, the, uh, one of the projects that we're working on is down at Sydney Fish Markets, uh, which is one of the top 10 tourist destinations in, uh, in Sydney. Uh, and if you've ever been there and had lunch on the Broadwalk, you know, you'll know that they've got um, a bit Excellent of a challenge. Excellent fish and chips. <laughs> Excellent fish and chips, but they also have a challenge with seagulls, of course, yes. yeah? Crazy um, seagulls, who are very I have keen been on there. those fish and chips Absolutely. that you, right, right. So we're working with the fish markets to use um, IoT and the, the, the LoRaWAN gateway that I'm talking about to transform the customer experience through waste management. So um, the, the current, the current um, waste management mechanism or process is that uh, the, the waste people collect the rubbish on a periodical basis. But by putting in place sensors in all of the rubbish bins, it can alert when these bins are getting nearly full and they can be collected on um, demand. So subsequently there's, um, there's no uh, food wastage lying around about the place attracting the birds, less birds, you and I are happier eating our fish and chips. I must say, I don't think it's just going to be you and I that are happier. All the tourists, all of sure. the, the shopkeepers there, that's a significant change. Um, and looking into the future, what personally excites you most about the opportunity that IoT uh, presents to citizens around the world? It is the economic opportunity. You know, we, we, we started our discussion today about the tremendous multi-billion dollar, multi-trillion dollar on a global basis opportunity that IoT presents. And really, from an Australian perspective, uh, and from the nation's perspective, um, I guess um, what we're most interested in is how we can unlock that opportunity um, for our clients. That's fantastic. Thank you, Piers, for your insights today. Thank you.